Hello there, my good folks. This is Ali Rush again. Oh, you know me. When they put up such a fuss about his name the other day. But I have a thought or two that I would like to bring to your mind. And one of them is thought itself. But we're on the subject again, which is my main subject subject I like informing you about and talking about, which is the coronavirus. Okay, now I want I want to put something on your mind about this this word thought. Thought is the beginning of a mental or physical direction, whether it's taken or not. Nothing is done in life, good or bad, that we do not think about it first. We must put our minds together and think about this pandemic first. Then we make a decision in which direction we will travel. In order to solve this problem, thought comes before action. That is, if we don't get careless or reckless. I hope you understood that, but uh, we got to, we've got to bring our minds together to defeat this thing. If we don't, it will get us. Now, my subject is this. Under the threat of death, the immune system battles coronavirus to live. Under the threat of death, the immune system battles coronavirus to live. There is a portion in the body that says no to giving in. Fighting is his main objective in the body of contamination. From behind the walls of T cells, no, not a jail cell, the battle to live begins. Lymph nodes joined by lymphocytes join in that fight for life. So the T cells and this these are the main characters in this uh, uh, video or article that I'm, I'm uh, conveying to you. So the T cells created by the thymus derived cells can help other body parts to grow. When infected cancer cells meet thymus derived T cells, it denies them the opportunity to grow. They team up to attack by mounting a second immune response attacking or attacked by antibody proteins and cells directly attacking the virus these cells are called t cells they are the ones that attack virally infected cells floating body particles are bound by the antibody if the virus tries to infect a cell the t cells will destroy it now Treatment of the infected person is to only support body functions. It controls damage, which gives the body time to expel the coronavirus. What effects, I'm asking a question or I'm answering a question you may ask now. What effects does weight gain have on a person with coronavirus? Well, it makes that person sicker if they have COVID-19 or the coronavirus and they are a 33% higher risk of dying. Another one of the questions you may ask is how long does it last? Well, it could last quite a while depending on its severity or the severity of the situation. Can you get the virus twice at this time? It is not known. When will coronavirus end? It is not ending. Hear me. It is not ending. It is surging. 136,000 new cases and over 7 million cases in all so far is not over till it's over. And now nobody knows. Well, 
Who or what defeats coronavirus? Rapid immunity or response, which is not enough in most cases. Oh, and may I add that people with diabetes or heart disease are at a much higher risk of death if infected with coronavirus. I hope that information helped you because that is exactly what I am seeking to do, help you, whoever you may be.